Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the Unicode characters. So before proceeding to this Unicode, so how can we write the Unicode characters in the regular expression? Before pro proceeding to this one, let's have an introduction of this Unicode. What is this Unicode and how it is useful in the computers? Let's try to see it. Normally, we know that the computers deal with the characters and the numbers. There is nothing but ABCDs and the 0 to 9. Like these numbers, the computers actually deal with. Now, we also have different types of characters. That is nothing but what you can say is different languages has the different types of characters. So in order to deal with those characters. So, before Unicode, so there are diff several different systems are there for representing these characters. So, normally these are referred to as an encoding characters. So, these are called as an encoding characters. So, different systems are this for representing different types of characters in different languages or currency symbols so like this we used to have so many different types of characters we used to have so different types of encoding systems are there for representing those characters and normally these are referred to as an encoding characters so going on so there are so many problems with these encoding systems so thankfully so this all changed with the unicode so unicode provides a standard uniform way for representing the whole different types of characters that are present in our world <clears throat> across the globe what are the different types of characters available in all languages so whatever the language you take in all the languages what are the different types of uh, characters present those all will be there in the unicode and we can represent that character using this unicode so you can think of it as something like a giant table so very big table consisting of the representation of all the a number representation of a number for each character so for each character they will be assigning a unique number for each character so that is called nothing but a unicode table so now if you want to represent that you that character so you can represent that equivalent unicode character for that one so that for that you can search in google something like unicode table or anything so whichever the website you can find so let's try to find first one unicode character table and here you'll be able to find a giant table so these are items still loading so here at the bottom you're still loading so these are some of the special characters you will be having so here you'll be able to find some currency characters japan n n thing so here you'll be able to see all the symbols different types of symbols and here you will be having english letters alphabets and here still it's loading so these are the different types of characters available and the number here you can see it is starting from 0020 and here you can uh, apply something like 0020 0021 is an exclamatory mark if you click if you click on that one so you will be able to get an exclamatory mark and the unicode equivalent is 0021 okay so here you can be able to find the html encoded thing also so this is the equivalent unicode character so now we can use this unicode character in the regular expressions that is what i want to try to explain you so if you want to use this unicode character in the in the regular expression so let's try to see this one for example let's say where is our regex pal yeah here let's say that we are having some letters okay and here if in order to mention the unicode character equivalent to this one so we need to use an escape character u okay so then you can mention something like 0061 so if you mention this 0061 so here a is highlighted so let's try to see what is this equivalent 0061 if you go here 0060 and here if you try to see this is the a and here this is the equivalent unicode character 0061 okay so this is the thing so how how it is trying to represent so normally here a not only like this we can also represent the range of unicode characters something like using a character set so here i can mention 2 slash u 0070 i can mention it like this also now you'll be able to see some of the list of characters that have been selected starting from 61 to 70 so these are nothing but starting from 61 to so wherever it may be so 70 up to here so m and o p these all the things are will be selected so like this you can also mention the range of unicode equivalent characters so these are also can be used in the regular expression and another one what i want to tell you is 
so normally we will not use for these characters unicode equivalent thing so we already know these are available in the keyboard layout you can directly use it so normally we, for what we will try to use it is for example let's say that we are having this special symbol okay let's try to copy this symbol which is not present in the keyboard so i have pasted it here now i want to match this special character number so how can i match this one is so let's grab this unicode equivalent for this one 00 a5 okay so i can find something like 00 a5 now it is able to match the unicode equivalent for this one so this is how we will be using this unicode characters whatever the thing so you will be having it here so you can find so you will be able to find copyright symbol so many things almost all the languages unicode equivalent characters you will be able to find it here so this is what this is what about the unicode characters and how we will be implementing the unicode characters in the regular expression and here you'll be able to see 00 a9 unicode escape for the copyright symbol so here you can write you can copy this copyright symbol and i have pasted it here and you can take this one and you can use it for this equivalent thing so now you will be able to find it 00 a9 is the equivalent unicode for this copyright symbol so like this we will be having different types of copy uh, what i can say unicode character for each type of character so you, if you want to mention with a unicode number for the equivalent character so you can find it so if you have any special type of character something like quotes and all those things you will be able to find it right so these are all the things you will be able to find using the regular expression so this is all about this uh capturing the uni uh, capturing the special type of characters using the unicode hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you